40 countries are willing to contribute, but how exactly is the question, especially uh, militarily? Uh, what John Kerry, the U.S. Secretary of State, would like to do in Paris is come up with a statement, come up with the possibility to name names and say exactly who will get their hands dirty uh, in Iraq and Syria in the end. Uh, we know that uh, this is a difficult task. Turkey, for example, is very reluctant to get involved militarily, according to our own uh, diplomatic sources here in Washington. France, for example, does not want to uh, launch airstrikes in Syria. The United States has again repeated it doesn't, of course, want its own combat ground troops and it doesn't want to encourage other co countries to send in ground troops. All of this uh, really showing that this is a very complex situation. And with the conference, of course, happening uh, today in Paris, it appears uh, the perfect time for the United States to come up with a concrete announcement. And presumably, um, he, John Kerry is working very hard as well to ensure many majority Muslim countries are within this coalition. It's absolutely crucial. Ten Sunni Arab uh, governments have uh, said at least that they are on board. Again, the question is who exactly will do what. Uh, according to a U.S. official uh, quoted by U.S. media here in the United States uh, today, uh, there are uh, Arab countries who are willing to launch airstrikes. Again, names are not named. Historically, uh, it is likely that, that those countries would be Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, air bases in the region that might be used could include uh, Qatar uh, and also Kuwait. Uh, We've also heard from the Syrians. Uh, the United States has again said it doesn't want to work together with the Syrian government. The Sy Syrian government says it would like to be included. It is not, of course, included uh, in this conference in Paris today.